Hello people, I am Javi Kawe, joined by Carolina the Sophia, and we're going to look at Kaithi, the official trailer starring Karthi and Narain, as well as Vijay TV Dina and Mariam George, and others. It literally says, and others in the thing. And it's directed by Lokesh Kanar Garage. And it's available in 4K, if you got that uh, kind of uh, situation going on with the resolutions and whatnot on your phone. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Sunday. Sundayrest.com has sponsored this video here in that you're watching. Sunday is India's first sleep tech startup. They sell mattresses straight to the consumer. There's no middleman, which saves you, the consumer, 30%, which is a, a great savings in my opinion. Also, they give you 100 nights to try out the mattress risk-free. If you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund, no questions asked. I highly, highly recommend it. There is a link in the description, only for the Kauai family, a special deal for you guys. All right, here we go. Kaithi. <laughs> I like the way that this is shot so far. Cinematography is really cool. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know why, but that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Just like all the uh, particles. Damn. <gasps> He's gonna kick some ass, is what he's gonna do. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I was the kicker of butts. Look at that. Boom! Bitches. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay, that was a variation on that move. That was cool. The relationship with the daughter thing I, f I find very interesting. This is a very weird thing that I'm relating it to in my brain, forgive me in advance, but it reminds me of Blow. You ever see Blow Johnny Depp? Where he's got this relationship with his daughter and he's trying to do this job just so he can like be with his daughter and have freedom to spend time with her. Yeah. I don't want to tell you what happens at the end because it's kind of horrific. That kind of hooked me in a little bit. Like it's not just this straight up action film. It's a lot of characters, a lot of uh, pieces on the chessboard there. It's very intriguing. At the very center of it, you've got this one guy who's just trying to get back to his daughter in right. essence. I think that's a very easy thing to get behind. Like irrespective of what he did before, you can recognize the love he has for his daughter. It kind of humanizes him. It makes you root for him. I don't know why he was in jail, what mm -hmm. he was doing, but now I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for that relationship. He cares so much about his daughter, he's just gonna blow through all these guys and kick so much ass just so he can get back to her. It looks exciting. I'm the type of person that I'll watch a movie, not to say that this is the case, but even if I don't care about the plot, if it looks visually appealing, I'm there. And this was that movie for me. Like when the glass shatters and it goes everywhere and he's like slow-mo, like, oh, love it. Yeah. It's just this thing that, that it calls to us as humans where particle effects are just pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's about, but it's biologically tied to us somehow. And I, I'm trying to figure out what that's about. Because like, if you see fireworks, you're just like, it's like a spectacle of just particle effects, essentially. Yeah. And the sound, right? But it's not so much the sound as it is just the spectacle of particles. But here's the same thing, where you see the glass shattering, 
And for some reason, we're just drawn to that. It's the weirdest thing. We're drawn to seeing a lot of the same thing at the same time. That's what Disney has basically been pulling us in with for years. Like if you go back and watch the Lion King opening, you see a flock of birds. It's just a lot of birds, yeah. a lot of animals. Oh. You see a lot of the same thing, a lot of lions. Go back and watch any Pixar movie in the last 10 years and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's always a shot with a lot of stuff. Sully in uh, Monsters, Inc. Just a lot of hair. We're drawn in, it's like, how do I do that? That's why we like looking at Carolina Sophia, all that hair. I've made a weird like thing there that's not making any sense. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that it's just very like visually pleasing for some reason to see that. Even though it's like there's danger element involved, it could hurt you if you were there. And it makes you just like hook in when you see particles. Unpopular opinion, I'm not like that into fireworks, but this is so much cooler than fireworks. No, but I'm saying like you were basically excited about glass fireworks. But the director and the cinematographer know how to create a visually appealing thing. It's very aesthetic, right? It's very nice to look at. All those tracking shots of following people, even the shots looking down, all these very creative angles, even lighting wise. I mentioned this in the teaser, like yeah. the lighting wise, the it's very creative where you see like the lights within the shadows and the yeah. silhouettes and whatnot. Like, all that stuff is super cool to me. I really like the way that this is lit. I like what the DP did. It's and lit. It's lit, yo. <laughs> that shit's lit. I'm into it. What do you think of the music? You know the music? Oh, I, yeah, I was trying you, to remember. You were just like, you were just yeah, like, I was so just caught looking at the it. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I felt whatever they were trying to make me feel. I was just too focused on the visuals, to be honest. I might have mentioned this in the teaser. The way that the DP lit this is so smart and so creative. Like, there's a lot of moments in there where you're just seeing one source of light in the shot or one area of light in the shot. Like this shot here at 38 seconds, it's just like one source of light, all shadow behind yeah. him. I've said this before, it takes someone with a lot of skill to be able to light something using shadows in a very effective and meaningful way. Mm -hmm because it's easy to mess that up. I've tried to mess with shadows, man, and it's it's a Same. tough thing. Just the colors, everything is... It's know. lit. It's lit! It's lit. <laughs> Going back to the relationship with his daughter, the funniest thing about that is, they didn't even show you that much of it. They just yeah. gave you enough to make you go, wow, that's meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's, it's speaking to me on a deeper level because I used to have a stepdaughter-ish kind of thing. Like I was raising a girl for four years. That might be hitting me in that way. I even had that sentiment going back to Blow. That was before that whole relationship where I, I felt that relationship with Johnny Depp and his daughter in the movie and it made me tear up and cry. And so like there's a similar thing here where she's just so innocent and he's just trying to get back to her. The perfect dynamic, I really wonder if it would have the same effect on you if it was a son instead of a daughter, if it would be just as impactful. There's something about the father-daughter relationship that makes it easy for you to hook in and I don't know why. There's something psychological there and I can't figure it out. Daddy's little girl is, is supposed Always, to have a daddy. Yeah. She's supposed to have her dad there to protect her. The little girl can be a strong, independent little girl that don't need no man. But there's something intrinsically psychological there that like this thing is tapping into. I don't know if they mean to, but it's I'm sure they do. Even the little girl's voice was so innocent. Yeah. Like all that stuff is just like tapping in like, you must watch Kaifi. <laughs> go, go watch it. It looks like a lot of fun. It really messed with you, didn't it? Are you gonna be okay? I think I'll be all right. <laughs> I'll just drink for my Spider-Man mug, I'll be okay. Wow. The shot at 118. Again, going back to the lighting. Like that is the thing that's compelling me the most. It's like this DP knows how to light this shit. <laughs> and it looks so damn good. Like I would watch this just to study how he does it. I would love to be on set for something like this or just talk to the DP and be like, how'd you do that? Tell me how'd you do that? How'd you do that? Because that looks so good. Do you need an assistant? I'll do it for free. Yeah. Like I just need to be there. Oh God, I'd be afraid of messing it up. Like, right? where do you want the C-stand? You know I would drop it, break <laughs> yeah. all the lights. <laughs> like, we don't have C-stands on this set. <laughs> it feels like there's a lot of natural light going on. That's what's so cool and spectacular about this. Like, what are you really seeing in here? You're seeing light from a truck, and you're seeing something on fire. Mm -hmm. And people in the background, I think, with flashlights. The only creative thing in here is the red light in the far right corner here. Like, what is that? I don't even, but that's that's the kind of choice a DP makes where they decide to accent something with a color that is not, that's not found in the wild. That just happens, right? Unless it's the brake lights. Even then, natural light. Someone, he puts a brick on the, or it tells the driver to hold his foot on the, I, I got like stupid about it. I'm like, you need to put a brick on the brake light to keep the light on. It's like someone could just you put their foot it. there. Yeah, like someone's holding the brake light down to give, to have that accent of red light there. Like, it's just cool looking. It's a wide shot, you can see everything going on. You get the sensation of the danger happening, even though you're kind of aloof from it all. Even though you're far away, you still have that sense of danger. It's such a, and it's beautiful to look at at the same time. Anyway. I think we agree on this one. Yeah, I think. Does it look cool, yeah. you think? Really? <laughs> I don't know how you feel it's about whatever. it, Jabby. I don't know if you like it or not. Hmm. 
I think you've been talking too much, Carolina Sophia. I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out. Check out Carolina Sophia and all the verbosity of her on the social media. So subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get uh, notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I'm Javi Kuwait. This is Carolina Sophia. Peace out. <laughs>